medicine or dentistry which one do you think is better medicine or pharmacy which one should i go for so i usually get this question from time to time maybe on my youtube videos or in real life or via dm on instagram i just always would get this question medicine pharmacy dentistry which is better i want to study one but i don't know what to go for oh i'm confused help me out Hello, my name is Ijoma. I'm a pharmacist and a digital content creator. So today, I'd like to discuss the question, one of the questions I always get asked, medicine or pharmacy, which is better? Or medicine or dentistry, which should I go for? Which should I study? I want to say that nobody is going to make that decision for you. But by the end of this video, I'm going to help you make an informed decision. First of all, I'll ask you, why do you want to um, take a course in healthcare? What's your motive? What do you want from it? Secondly, I'm going to ask you, what aspect of healthcare interests you the most? I know like you like medicine, you like either dentistry or pharmacy but which of these ones interests you the most the third question would be do you prefer working with your hands or you would prefer a broader medical cases the fourth one is what kind of work-life balance are you hoping for what kind of work-life balance do you want for yourself in the long run so i want you to write down these questions and answer it honestly another thing i would advise when it comes to making an informed decision is the differences is specific when it comes to the lifestyle especially the medical career and pharmacy for instance for pharmacy this is only dependent i wouldn't say it's dependent on whether you're working in a clinical setting or in a in community practice because if you're if you're both doing any of this you have to be open to doing on calls it's very rigorous even in pharmacy you have to like this with a lot of standing especially when you're working in community practice okay you will stand a lot you have to be on your feet it's quite rigorous you're going back and forth you're going to do your own calls like um call duties overnight 16 hour shifts you have to do like with different hours of shifts depending on the country or wherever you're located all right while for dentistry you can for the most part you can choose the timing you want to work dentistry practice offers more regular hours compared to medicine and pharmacy for medicine and for dentistry there's a lot of specialization that comes with this field pharmacy it's it's growing in the past years and there are more specialization coming up when it comes to pharmacies so the last one last but not the least when it comes to the differences is in the education i would like to let you understand that any of these courses any courses in healthcare is quite rigorous dealing directly or indirectly with human lives for instance i'm going to use nigeria as an example for med medicine you're thinking six years for just the general mbbs right so for pharmacy in nigeria is either five years or six years five years for b farm six years for doctor in pharmacy then dentistry is five years here in nigeria so you have to check the, for the one in your own country or the country you choose to study in the general schemes of things when you ask me oh which should i study medicine dentistry or pharmacy i would say you should explore yourself how do you explore yourself one by shadowing or volunteering so go shadow a doctor go shadow a dentist go shadow a pharmacist shadow go shadow in a community um, pharmacy or in a hospital or as a doctor in a hospital go shadow a doctor in a hospital just go shadow for a day to if they can if they let you for months like you can just do like maybe twice a week just shadow just to see how the life looks like and picture yourself in that life because you never really know what life can look like until you sort of like put yourself in that shoes so try and shadow somebody and see what it is like second one which i always encourage people 
despite the field you are in is to check on youtube youtube there's what you call university of youtube there's everything on youtube so you can check on youtube and what you should check is okay the, a day in the life of a pharmacist you're going to see something on that a day in the life of a doctor a day in the life of a dentist right you're going to see something when it comes to that so check watch as many vlogs as possible see what because when you watch the vlogs you are going to see vlogs from people from different parts of, in the world so you can see what the life of a doctor is in the us as opposed to uk as opposed to germany you know as opposed to in anywhere in africa in ghana in nigeria so i would encourage you to check for yourself online do some self-exploration all right so thirdly would be to have a pep talk with yourself right have a pep talk with yourself do you have the passion for it because it's going to take you a lot are you ready to study and the thing is once you have the passion and the aptitude that's all that you need to succeed in any of these careers you're going to it's rigorous and so you need to have a lot of tenacious energy have the tenacity for these courses either medicine pharmacy or dentistry would offer you the impact on people's life if that's what you are looking for people's life and well-being if you like to see people getting well and you are interested in lifestyle well-being of people any of these courses you study would directly or indirectly have an impact on people's life all right on your patient's life in the future there's a good there's a possibility of good any potential depending on where you are in the world all right so there are some countries that are still upcoming they might not pay as much but there are some countries that really do pay well so it is relative you, you have to continue reading and reading when you, once you graduate that's not the end you, because there's still new research has been found so you have to keep being updated from time to time attending like renewing doing some courses taking some online trainings and all that going for conferences events so at the end of the day there is no one size fits all the the question of which is better totally depends on you and what you want for yourself and for your future and it depends on what you find fulfilling and rewarding I didn't really so lastly i would like to say lastly lastly last i know i've said lastly so many times just i believe so much in praying about it because i believe that there is a purpose to why you are here on earth and it can be a quite confusing space or time in your life but do not lose hope just trust god i too i also wished i had somebody who would have even spoken to me like this before i chose i had to decide which course to choose right but i'm glad that i'm here now to help you make an informed decision because at the end of the day no one is going to make that decision for, decision for you it is like such a big decision but i know that if you put everything to the hands of god he will direct you on the right course for you all right make sure to like this video and i will see you in another video tell me what you want to see in the future videos what you want me to talk about in the future videos ask your questions in the comment section comment if you are if you have an advice for someone in the comment section who is also in this crossroad please feel free to share take care and stay blessed